Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at module learning objectives, which of course are very similar to course learning objectives. Instead, module learning objectives are taking those overall big course learning objectives and they're breaking them down and they're chunking them for the students in different bites so that they can build on their way towards achieving the course learning objectives. So here we are with using the same type of backwards design process. You have your course learning objectives now. You look at them and you think, how can I break this down more specifically into different chunks to help the student on their journey to achieving mastery for this course? Here is an example. These are module learning objectives for an English composition class. You can see that the module is breaking it down into very specific objectives. Um, critically read and evaluate a text, justify your critical analysis, examine a presentation, etc. These module learning objectives then are underneath the umbrella of your course learning objectives. In this example, this corny course learning objective. Provide an understanding of knowledge as existing with a, in a broader context, including the purposes and audiences for which a text may have been constructed. So you see that larger course objective is now very much broken down into this module learning objective. Of course, this was more attainable for the student than that entire course learning objective. And of course, we're going to be using uh, Bloom's taxonomy to write our module objectives just as much as we did for the course objectives. And how does this align with Quality Matters? Quality Matters Standard 2.2 is asking for alignment of your module learning objectives and also making sure that it is aligned with your assessments and the different assignments that you're giving your students. So how do we do that? If we're taking one of the module learning objectives, students will critically read and evaluate a literary text. How do we get the student to be able to demonstrate that? There's a lot of different ways. You can have the student take a quiz. Maybe it's a self-assessment type of quiz. Uh, they can write a reaction paper, maybe a more formal in-depth argumentative essay, perhaps even uh, present a graphic type of presentation to the course. There are many different ways to get the student to demonstrate and practice the module learning objective. The important part is that all of these align and Quality Matters alignment is a high priority and I think you can understand why. You have your overall course learning objectives, then your individual module learning objectives need to align and speak to those course learning objectives. And then all of your assessments and assignments need to demonstrate that they are going to help the student master those learning objectives. So for example, if you have a student analyzing literary text and one of your assignments is to look up an article in the New York Times, the alignment might not be very clear. The student might be doing some work that is not necessarily helping them achieve mastery. So keep that in mind when you're designing your course. So here are just some uh, sample assignments or assessments that you can use in your backwards design um, in whatever different curriculum that you are teaching. It's a short list. There is a multitude available. There is nothing that is a limit except for whatever your imagination is. What assignments are you currently using? What, what would you like to add? What are some things that you've never tried before but you want to try now? Think about it and then start seeing how you can align them to your module objectives and your course learning objectives. Thanks.